We created a few portfolio slides and those slides are not about only working with images because PowerPoint design can be much like survival in woods. We need to know our surroundings. I'll create another slide. This time it will be about our staff, our team, but we will still work with photographs because I want to show you something amazing. And this time I want again four images similar to here, but I want those images to fill out the entire screen. I have my pictures. I have a few person pictures because I knew that we will create a slide regarding persons. So I'll select one, two, three, four, and I'll just place them inside the design. Okay, beautiful pictures. Each picture is different. Each picture has other size, but I want them to be distributed equally as four. Look on the top side. If you don't have rulers, go to view and select ruler. I would also select guides because guides give us these lines. We can of course switch those lines and add new ones, but this is just an example. Now look at the top. The right side and the left side is about 6.6. .6. I guess these are inches. I never really thought about that. And I'll select those four images, go to format, and you can remember that the magical number here, as you can see, one side is 6.6. .6, so 3.333 is like the magical number to make everything equal. Select all four images, go to format and place 3.34, maybe four. So we increment it upwards. All right. Now I know that those images are perfectly equal when it comes to their width. I need also to adjust the height, but this will come in a second. Okay. Let me place the first picture here, or maybe start with the middle. Start with the middle here, start with the middle here, then take this picture and this picture. Everything is well placed. Now you need to crop the persons. And if you don't want those guides anymore, just go to view and deselect guides. Now I click on the first picture. I go to format crop and I crop it to the bottom. So I have such a big box and I make this image bigger. Okay. I make the lady big because I want those images to kind of look equal. And I take the next one, crop, crop it to the bottom. Well, crop it. Actually, I'm extending it and make the picture bigger. As you can see, well, the better the pictures, the easier the work is. Okay. Now this guy looks great. The next guy, crop, boom, make him bigger. And I need to make them a bit bigger. So they look at least equal. I may have trouble with the last image because this last image, this lady will be really big in the image, but that's the photographs that I have. I need to work with what I have. Sometimes your clients require really crazy things. So you need to adapt and work with what you have. Okay. Crop. And I've perfectly cropped those images to be equal and distributed across the slide. I believe this already looks great, but I want to show you something amazing that will help us later. This would be simple. Just press Alt 2, create boxes, or you can even copy boxes from the previous slide and place them here near to the person. I have those boxes and I'm selecting the color from the actual image. So I'm eye dropping what colors are here and I'm setting the transparency to 30%. This way, it will all look consistent because it will not go outwards of this photograph. Okay. Transparency 30. And now I'll show you the trick, which will help us later. I would like to take the overlay we created before. So take the overlay, for example, from here, take it here and control C and control V it. I would like this overlay to cover up our images. The transparency is too strong. So lower the transparency because I want those images to be barely visible. Okay, this looks great. Control C, Control V. Then click on it. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Control V again. And voila. This would be our finalized slide. Now, later on, if I teach you about animations, we'll create something outstanding by going to animations, adding a fade animation, and adding then fade in animations. And we will create a very interesting animation with each click, 
we will reveal one person. The next click will make this person disappear and the next person appear. But that comes later when we talk about animation and this is why I'm teaching you both slide design and animation because once you learn all that, you will have no problems creating such slides, such portfolios, such videos and it will be really super fun work and I can't wait until we start. For now, let's design a few slides more so we will be more complete as designers and I'll see you in the next slide design lesson.